Hello, this is Rick. Hanging out in my basement of laughs and fun times. Once in a while, I like to hold on to this yellow knife, but once in a while, I will actually look at these black boxes instead, which stops me from cutting things I shouldn't be. This is a 46, and it's a black sleeve uh, created by someone in a factory somewhere to hide the beautiful packaging seen inside. I think there are insects written inside this box, but I won't know until I use my trusty knife. If I find any in there, I'm going to stab them with the knife. But first, we must cut the tape. Ha 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 ha. You're supposed to cut down the street. Not across the road. I learned that one from my stepbrother. At least that's what the police told me to say in English. So this is how I make sure there aren't insects inside my box. I like to shake it out and I don't see any falling insects. This garbage goes over here, but this is what's pretty. A real big spider. It's got a lot of curves on it. There's lots of faces with this toy. If only I could speak Japanese. So let me take one of these pieces of garbage and throw it over there. Black Widow, just like my first marriage. So here we will cut this open and make it instantly worthless. Don't tell anyone. I'm actually not speaking. This is my inner monologue that somehow is being recorded by this wonderful telephone I'm using. Okay. The voices in my head stopped. I'm usually scared of spiders, but this one isn't real. It's a toy. So I'm going to take it out and put it in my children's bed to make them scared later. Look at how pretty this is. It is a very nice toy. I try to cut as much tape as I can. For that's the name of this show. But what I don't want to do is cut my flesh or the plastic. Ah, it smells like poison. Ha 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 ha. This isn't a real spider. It can't hurt me. What was I so worried about? See, it has a human face. There's another face. It has yellow, I mean green, verde eyes.
This is a string. Most Transformers don't come with string, but this one does. It is a masterpiece toy. You can insert it into the spider's butt and pretend it's webs, but you know it's just string. I still like to stuff stuff in there, though. This is a pretty spider. In fact, it's scary because the feet look like they're real if you look at it really quick. Well, now that we've looked at it, I have to check the box again because I just lost my memory. This is black arachnia, right? Good. So I want to tell you about the time I was eaten by spiders. I got better. I don't know how I got out of that crazy situation, but here I am facing my fears one toy at a time. This toy is interesting because people paid a lot of money for it and they still are. In fact, it's worth more on the aftermarket than when I bought it. She has feet, but I thought they would have heels to fit her body type. Here I go, cutting the plastic again like I said I wouldn't do. Sometimes you just need to cut a toy. Wow, these feet are stiff. As you can see, her spider butt turns into a weapon that shoots lasers. That's cool. I'm cool with it. I'll accept that. Whatever you want to do, Hasbro, just do it. See, they go together like all good Transformer accessories. That is an Autobot symbol. So Black Arachnia's design was ridiculous and she doesn't actually have hands, but she has lots of long spider legs. And even though she's named Black Arachnia, she's yellow and gold and purple. Let me look at this again. I think I might have left some money in here, so I'm going to check it again. Oh, just kidding. It was her head. And breasts. It makes me somewhat uncomfortable that this toy has so many curves, but I will continue to transform it in front of the camera for the good of the show. Look at all these long, scary spider legs. I think there are eight of them. Because her name is Black Arachnia, and Arachnid means eight, I think. I must say, this looks exactly like the toy in the show. Except her hips are clearly not compressed. See?
those pincher hands, they work just like a crab. Let's see about these other faces. I want to give her some real expression. Does this gun fit in a crab claw? I don't know. Since when do spiders have two big fingers? We don't know. It's supposed to fit in here, but I can't figure it out. There, it did. Friction is our friend. And now I have the fully realized black arachnia toy. Isn't she cool? It's an interesting robot that they actually made it look like this. This is my favorite part of the toy to touch. I will even cut it. But not for you. I will do that later. The face sculpt is quite good. Everything looks super accurate. So I must say, not a bad masterpiece. There you go. See? What are you thinking? You have to buy this. If you didn't, you better just go back to work. This strange piece of plastic is supposed to fit together. And I think it makes a parachute. That way, you can throw this toy off your house, and it will land on the ground safely. One time I jumped out of a plane, and there were spiders all over me. That's why I'm having post-traumatic stress while playing with this toy. But, like I said, this parachute is quite nice. This one sticks together just as good as my other parachute the day I hit the ground at terminal velocity. Let's see how it works with this toy. It might also be some sort of bad umbrella that keeps you wet instead of dry. See, that's what it holds on to. The umbrella handle. You gotta try all the parts before you know if you are missing anything from the manufacturer. Here are some more parts I found. This is the part where I Stop talking about this toy and talk about toys that I wish existed that don't, like a good Transformers fan does. I want to cut this tape, but I lost my knife. Oh, I found it, and I cut it. The name of the show is Vindicated. This is quite a strange... Accessory. It is a long visor, long antenna and visor that goes over Black Arachnia's face. Like in that one episode that I don't remember, but I know it happened because they made it. It was the best episode. You remember that one. Oh. There's popcorn in this package. Here is some more stuff. I think we call it paperwork. Oh, and the stand is in here. That's what I put the umbrella on. Did you know 
if you buy more of these knives, you can cut more things. This stand is amazing. If you buy a ton of black arachnias, you can put them together to make a sort of weird display that no one wants to do. And this is a card that I will put somewhere. Black Widow. This is paper. If only I could read, I would tell you what it said. But there's pretty pictures as well. They look almost as cool as the actual toy in front of me. I would read these instructions, but we all know they will not be helpful. So instead, I must forge on ahead. This is like a baseball card. Completely worthless. Only this one has a spider woman on it. So now let's see if I can put together the stand without breaking anything. If I do break something, I'm going to eat this card. I will digest it in my stomach. All for you, the viewers. Okay, step one, all good. Let's try the umbrella. Hey, that worked. Ooh, what goes happen next? Oh goodness. I think I might break it. I have to find the hole where this thing fits in. But you have to be careful because black arachnia has many holes. Only one will fit the umbrella. Look at how much more expensive this is than the, than the deluxe toy from 10 years ago. Inflation sure is a drag. So this toy is great. I love the umbrella and all the curves. Thanks for watching, and I hope next time I can get a Japanese translator as well for all of my Japanese friends. We'll see. I love Puerto Rico. It's a good place. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.